Let's say you're very brave to go on camera. Okay. So what's know. your testimony? <laughs> My testimony. Um, so I grew up like a, a Muslim. And like um, yeah, like after finding truth, the only one that came to me was Jesus Christ. I like um, I was a dedicated Muslim myself as well. I like praying five times a day. And nowadays in the park, Muslims will never believe me that I was a Muslim. Come, come let's go this way because I can't. It's too noisy. Sorry, one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear a story why he left Islam? I think we're good on that. It's too, 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 too crowded. It's too oh, go on. So. Anyway, let's, uh... Okay, go on. So yeah. Like, so yeah, like um, I was a I was a devout Muslim growing. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if I should do this. I'm scared of my family might see. Why? Why? Why are you scared? You know, Jesus says um, that you know if you if you hate your life, you'll gain eternal life. You can't be hiding your face. Um, I know it's very brave, but don't be scared. It's not like a million people will watch okay, this. Okay. <laughs> but you, we have to encourage people. Like, why? Okay, why? Let's discuss this. Why would you be worried? Is it because Islam teaches that you should be killed, isn't it? Yeah, they, they, they're, they're kind of violent people, you know? So when they find out you leave Christianity, uh, Islam, they just get so violent. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, and I have serious problems with this about, you know, anybody who criticizes Islam. Um, you know, they get bomb threats, um, yeah, yeah. you know... I've had, threats, I've had threats before. Like, what kind of threats did you just, have? Just like, um, violent threats, like, um, may Allah destroy you, they would just curse me, and just like, um, they would... Yeah. A lot of times they would, like, try to, um, live, looking for me as well, in, the, in my, yeah. back of my hometown. Yeah, but I just, I just didn't care, you know, just the ground, yeah. just took my ground. So why, how did you, so, you know, how did you find Jesus then? So Jesus, um, I would say he found me. How did he also find he found you? me because like um yeah like I was I was in a so I was a Muslim right and like um yeah I was like praying reading the Quran this and this right like how a normal normal Muslim should do but then like um I found about Jesus I never knew about Jesus I just thought he was like a, a merman in Islam like a prophet and then like um after finding about Jesus right like um I I like dig I like dig deep deep into him like did my research research upon him. Then after seeing all these testimonies of like Muslims having dreams of Jesus coming to them in their dreams, that that kind of like um, clicked me, and that kind of like got me deeper into like um, spiritual side, you know. And then like um, at the same time, right, I was like um, I was a Muslim, but like um, I was also praying to Jesus as well. So I, like um, I was praying sometimes um, like um, how Muslims would pray like um, Monday to Friday, They're, like they 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 would do their daily prayers. I would do that. But I would also pray to Jesus at the same time, right? So like um, I was um, actually going through like a really like um, dark phase in my life, right? A really dark phase in my life, and at that time I left praying um, Islam. So I, I didn't I didn't pray in Islam at that time. I was like, okay, I will leave it. I leave it because it was, it was getting too much, you know, like doing all these prayers. It was, it was just too much, too much headache. So then um, I was praying to Jesus at the time, right, to like um, to heal my heal my problem, to like fix it. And then like a um, couple of months later, in my like um, health problem that I had, and, and my depression that I was facing, I had a a um, inside voice. A voice spoke to me on inside and it said to me, pray to the Father. Yeah, so this voice that came to me on the inside, it was like, pray to the Father. And I never knew what praying to the Father means, right? I never really knew what it means. So, and this presence was, was, was with me for like a good two weeks. It was, a, it was a divine presence that I did not know like what it was about. And all this presence was saying was pray to the Father. And at that time, I was just praying. Even at, my, even, my, even at work, I was praying to the Father in my head. I was like, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, just praying. And the more I'd pray, it would just go stronger and stronger and stronger. And then like um, a week, even a couple, a couple days, a couple, literally a couple days, my depression went. All my, all my like health problems that I was facing just went just like that. And then like, um, yeah, so I, I didn't, I left Islam. I didn't go back. I didn't like consider going back into Islam at that time. So like, um, I, I just, that present went as well. That present after one week or two weeks, that present went away. So like, I still kept on praying to the Father and I kept on praying to like, um, Kept on praying how we should be doing, like just having, a, just having a relationship with the Lord. And the more I dig deep into my relationship with the Lord, like this, like one day I was lying down in my room and like um, another presence came into my room. And this presence just, it was like a, it was like a hug, hug from God. It was like a really deep hug. And then, and then as this presence like um, was there, for like um, it was, it was only like a couple of seconds. But then um, a couple of days later, I was reading the Bible, right? And um, it said about a verse. I think it's book in the verse on the book of Ephesians. It said that you will be sealed with the Holy Spirit to the day of judgment in your heart. And I was, I was reading that verse, right? And I was, uh, I was just looking back, right? And like, um, when I felt that present, I felt as if something had been sealed in my heart. Yeah, something your heart that, got circumcised. Something had got circumcised, yes. In your heart, and at yeah. that time, I knew that this was the Holy Spirit. 
Wow. And then so I knew this was the Holy Spirit as well. I tested it as well to see if this was the devil, this was the Holy Spirit. And I knew this was the Holy Spirit, right? Because one day I went out and I was, I was just talking to someone about Jesus. So I was talking to someone about how much Jesus loved them, right? And as I was talking to them about Jesus, that same thing that was in my heart, that present just came back. But that's how I, I, that, that's how I was like, that was confirmed. That was um, the presence of the Holy Spirit and that to be Jesus living inside of me. Wow, I'm, I'm in, praise to God. So when you were a Muslim, you never had a relationship with no, no, Allah. No. Because it, it seems to me that, you know, you're just reciting this Arabic word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very repetitive. Nice, yes. And there is no real relationship. So would you say in Christianity, now you have a relationship with God, not only you can hear him, feel him, but he lives in yeah, your yeah, heart yeah, now. Yes. And the and Lord, yeah, yeah. And like even in Islam, I would never see, I would never see Allah work. It was just so dry. It was just so hard. Like nothing yeah. was happening. And I, I was like doing all these prayers and it was just, I was, it felt like I was just talking to her at the same time. And like I even doubted my faith when I was a Muslim because I didn't feel anything. But when I was a Christian, literally, literally my, the Lord came to me. But like, as I say, when I was praying, this presence I felt, never, I never felt in Islam. And I, I'm 100% sure it would be Jesus Christ. So as a conclusion, what would you say to any Muslim watching you who's thinking to live Islam? Because yes. I am convinced that many people wear a hijab or they have yes, a yes. beard, but they yeah. don't even believe in yeah, this. Yeah. They do it because Cultural, they will lose yes. their, culturally, yeah, yeah. they will lose everything, become homeless, they get persecuted. But what would you say to that person that is thinking that Islam is not true? What would you say to them, you know, about okay. living in some yeah, yeah. embracing Christianity? I would say if you're if you're in doubts of Islam, then seek the tree, because Jesus says, Seek me and you shall, you shall find me. Ask and it shall be given. Not gonna be open, right? So if you really wanna if you really wanna know the truth, I would say go and seek Jesus Christ. Go on a fast. Go on a fast for like a couple of days, just drinking water and seek Jesus, seek the truth. Seek yeah. the true higher power who is real. And then Jesus Christ will come to you because oh, many people have heard, even my friends that I have, they wanted to know if God was real or not. So they went out and fasted and Jesus Christ will come to them in visions or dreams. And some have even heard his audible voice. So that's what I would encourage to my, uh, my, brothers and, uh, my Muslim brothers and sisters, if you want to know the truth. Okay. Or even atheists, if you want to know the truth, just seek, seek God. And it's not a one-time thing. Just constantly seek him till you find him. Because I assure you, Jesus Christ will certainly come to you if you, if you seek him day and night. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. God bless God you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So as we see, you know, we met another. He's very brave to go on camera. Um, you know, um, but I, I want to encourage ex-Muslims to go on camera because this fact that people need to go into hiding, we need to expose this taboo thing that, you know, you can't speak against Islam or you will be killed or you will live in fear and we need to everybody needs to go and talk about this because it's it shouldn't be allowed and it's uh, disgraceful that in this country people have to live in fear but he's very brave because he's in christ and he knows that if he dies he will go to be in heaven um and that's how we should live we should live in with not in fear jesus says do not fear